Hello students, I am Preeti Sinhal, an assistant professor at AISSMS College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. Today we are going to learn a chapter under the biology. The topic name is Microbes in Household Food Processing. The objective of the, this chapter are to learn about what is microbes, to learn about microbes in household food processing, to learn use of microbes in various ways. Let's talk about microbes first. Let's understand it. So microbes or microorganism are tiny living organisms that are invisible to the naked eye. Microbes are present everywhere in soil, in water, in air, inside our bodies and that of other animals and plants. They include bacteria, viruses, fungi, protozoa and algae. So microbes like bacteria and many fungi can be grown on nutritive media to form colonies. So here I can say that th that can be seen with the naked eyes. Despite their small size, microbes play a very crucial role in various aspects of life on earth, including environmental processes, human health and industrial applications. Now if I say that several microbes are useful to men in diverse ways, wouldn't you agree? As the slides will go ahead, I will explain to you slowly, slowly. Some of the most important contributions of microbes to human welfare we are going to discuss in this chapter. So as the topic was microbes in household food processing. Let's proceed step by step to understand it. You would be surprised to know that we use microbes or products derived from them every day in our day to day life. I shall state that the relationship between microorganisms and food is a very fascinating and intricate one with profound implications for human health nutrition and food industry practices. Microorganisms including as I told you it includes bacteria, yeast, mold which inter interact with food in various ways. They often influence their taste, textures, safety and shelf life. So under that we are going to under the household food processing we are going to talk about fermentation first. How fermentation is affected by the microorganism. One of the most significant aspects of the microorganism food relationship is fermentation. So now let's first understand what is fermentation. So fermentation is a metabolic process where microorganisms break down carbohydrates or other organic compounds to produce energy in the absence of oxygen and this is a very important point to, to uh, be uh, notified that it should be it happens in the absence of oxygen. This process is harnessed in food production to create a wide array of fermented foods which includes some of the examples are yogurt cheese, bread, beer, wine, sauerkraut and kimchi. Let's talk about all these one by one in a very short brief as I will proceed for another topics where I will explain in more brief one by one. But here I will give you just brief introduction about all these production. So microorganisms involved in fermentation such as lactic acid bacteria, yeast and mold transforms the flavor, aroma, texture of food 
and making it more palatable and nutritious. Now let's talk some example here for better understanding. The batter which is used for making foods such as dosa or idli which, which is a very common food in our day to day household is also fermented by bacteria. The puffed up appearance of dough or a batter is due to the production of carbon dioxide or CO2 gas. This yeast species which is named Saccharomyces cerevisiae is extensively used in baking to leaven the bread and other baked goods. It ferments the sugar which is present in the dough in the form of starch producing carbon dioxide gas that causes the dough to rise which results in soft and fluffy bread. I think now you are understanding that how the breads is they, they become very soft and fluffy and how the dough rises. A number of traditional drinks and foods are also made by fermentation by the microbes. If I say a traditional drink named toddy of some parts of the southern India is made by fermenting sap from palms or palm tree. Microbes are also used to ferment fish, soya bean and bamboo shoots to make foods. The mold species named Aspergillus orzea is utilized in the fermentation of soya bean to produce soya sauce and miso. You must be surprised for it, right? How the soya, soya sauce has been produced or made. So this is one of the mold species which has been used. How does it work? It breaks down proteins and carbohydrates in soya bean resulting in savory and umami rich flavors. So the soya bean which is fermented that brings out that umami flavor to the soya sauce or the miso. Now let's talk about another food cheese which is I think everybody's favorite is one of the oldest food item in which microbes were and are used. Different varieties of cheese are known by their characteristic texture, flavor and taste. The specificity coming from the microbes used, a specific microbes. For example, the large holes in Swiss cheese you must have seen in many uh, Tom and Jerry cereal also and uh, in the uh, so many movies or chef movies kind of are due to production of a large amount of CO2 by a bacteria named Propioni bacterium shermani. The Roquefort cheese are ripened by growing a specific fungi on them which gives, gives them a very particular and a peculiar kind of a flavor. Let's move to the next and understand more examples. Commercially prepared starter cultures containing specific strains of microbes are used in fermenting foods like sarkra, kimchi. You must be knowing this word kimchi, right? It's kind of a, a pickle, kind of a pickle, a pickled uh, cabbage. And, uh, and pickles. These cultures ensure consistent fermentation and desirable flavor profiles. That, that is why they are commercially prepared starter cultures which gives you consistent and desirable flavor profiles. The Acetobacter aceti, another name of the micro microorganism is used in the fermentation of vinegar from alcoholic liquid like wine or cider. It oxidizes ethanol into acetic acid imparting the sour taste and preserving the vinegar. That is how the vinegar production happens. Let's move to the next. Let's talk about the day-to-day -day, uh, 
one of the dish or one of the formation or one of the uh, this is called as curd we all use at home in indian indian households in everybody's household might be curd is made by their mother or grandmother at home only so what is the science behind it how microorganism or microbes work on that so the common example is the production of curd from milk we all know that curd is produced by milk but how so microorganisms such as lactobacillus and other commonly called lactic acid bacteria it is known also as lab lactic acid bacteria that grow in milk and convert it to curd so during that grow growth the lab or lacto acid bacteria lactic acid bacteria produce acids that coagulate and partially digest the milk proteins a small amount of curd added to the fresh milk as inoculum or we could we can call it a starter also contain millions of lab which at suitable temperature multiply the temperature needs to be very that is a very important point it it needs to be perfect thus converting milk to curd which also improves its nutritional quality by increasing vitamin b in our stomach too the lab play very beneficial role in checking disease causing by microbes now let's move to the after fermentation to the next topic which is known as or which is food preservation microorganisms have been utilized for centuries in food preservation techniques such as pickling curing salting and fermenting these methods create conditions unfavorable for the growth of spoilage and pathogenic microorganisms so we can say that thus it extends the shelf life of food products for an example if i say the high salt concentration in cured meats inhibits microbial growth the shelf life is very very long right so while the acidic environment in pickled vegetable prevents spoilage so that is how we have learned how we can preserve the food items let's move to the one more topic which is also known as probiotics you must be hearing this word a lot though it is also a very ancient technique our ancient people are using it but the term might be not used earlier now it is known as probiotics so what are probiotics probiotics are live microorganisms that confer health benefits when consumed in a adequate amount it is not like that that it, if it is giving a health benefit you should keep drinking or keep eating yes there is a certain adequate amount if is eaten in that then only it is beneficial they are commonly found in fermented foods such as yogurt kefir kombucha and certain types of cheese probiotics promote gut health by modulating the composition of the intestinal microbiota that improves our digestion it enhancing nutrition or nutrient absorption and strengthening the immune system i hope you all are understanding about the various or very different different use of microorganism in our households the microbial or microbes they enhance flavor in fermentation it imparts unique and complex flavor to the food product and it enhances their palatability it improved digestibility fermentation breakdown as we have learned in the earlier slides complex nutrition nutrients into simpler forms making them again easier to digest and absorb 
it extends the shelf life also the acidic environment which is created during fermentations it inhibits the growth growth of harmful bacteria thus again preserving the food for longer time health benefits fermented foods contain probiotics which are beneficial microbes that promote gut health and strengthen the immune system so many and a variety of the benefits which we gain from our my microorganism so let's bring to the conclusion let's summarize this microbes play a vital role now you must have understood by hearing or by understanding all those examples which i gave in a previous slides so microbes play a vital role in household food processing through fermentation contributing to the production of a wide range of flavorful and nutritious food understanding the diverse application of microbes in food processing can help optimize food production practices and promote the consumption of healthy and delicious fermented foods thank you so much.